<laughs> and I haven't got a gamble on the numbers. Yes. Kim, where do I sign? You know? How do Whereas you the other, some people are so warped by pay-per-view that, especially in America, that there are now there's another alternative. There's never been a broadcaster that's willing to pay eight, nine, ten, twenty, forty million dollars in rights fees. Now you've got it with the zone. So you don't have to gamble on paper. How do you feel the fans' reception has been? It seems like every time I'm on Twitter, if Javante Davis makes a tweet, yeah, yeah. people are under it saying, earn with her, yeah, earn know, with yeah, her. Yeah. It's you like, have like a beehive kind of No, beehive. it's a bit of a movement because we want the support of fans because if I'm a fan, I'm all over the zone because I haven't got to pay pay-per-view. So Canelo's fighting in December, you would have had to pay $80 to watch out on HBO. You now watch it for free. How can you not like that? I mean, like, it's not, there's no trick. It's not you sign up and then you've got to pay $80 the next day. It's just free. Mm. You know, when he's fighting Canelo at Golovkin, there's no extra money. It's your monthly subscription. You've got 32 matchroom fight nights. You've got Bellator, you've got Combat Americas, you've got Golden Boy shows. You've got Anthony Joshua, you've got Canelo. Pay-per-view's dead, it's over. But, don't get me wrong, when there's a Mayweather, when there's a Conor McGregor, they'll stu do, still do the numbers because they have the ability to capture the casual fans. Things that other fighters haven't done. Great fighters haven't done. Spence, Crawford, Deontay Wilder. You can walk down New York to Times Square and ask people, all those three people, no one will know who they are. And it's not a criticism of them because they are great fighters and great athletes. But you can't hit those pay-per-view numbers Go down Times Square and ask people who Mayweather and Conor McGregor are. Everyone will know. But it's very few people can do that. The old adage is, you know, in with, out with the old, in with the new. Yeah. You know, uh, it seems like the heaviest criticisms, I'm, I'm interviewing Freddie Roach, I'm not going to watch boxing on an app. Yeah. Or, uh, but that's the old school mentality of people who don't understand the product. So like a guy picked me up from the airport the other day. He says, oh, I want to watch this. It's on this, 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 this Dazen thing. I'm like, yeah, Dazone. Yeah, but I, I can't watch it on TV, can I? Of course you can watch it on TV. But it's just the new generation. I'm actually, I've, I've just learned about Netflix, yeah? I'm 40 next year. But the kids, this is no problem for them. Yeah. Like we were in, we were in the uh, media room before, we've got a show in London tonight. People are just walking around on their phones watching a fight, you know? And it's crystal clear. It's not like you're just trying to find some illegal stream somewhere. But you plug it into you, you watch it on a big screen, you watch it on your tablet, your laptop, your phone. How do you think people are digesting content these days? Via that method. And we see it even in the UK. People buying our pay-per-views are all buying online now to watch it, you know, on their devices. I but, imagine a lot of people are going to be watching Regis Progre in the, yeah, in the Super Series yeah, yeah. while they're here at the fight. Yeah, so you know, just to keep yeah, both yeah. But that's people are multitasking all the time. So how when was the last time you watched a movie? Right? and just turned your phone off, mm -hmm. put your tablet on the side, and just sat there and watched a movie without touching anything. No, you're texting, you're tweeting, you're rating the movie. You know, you might be having a bet on something, you might be checking a football score. People are always multitasking now. And you, you are right, there will be people in the crowd tonight watching the zone on their phones. You, know. you feel like people are just on their last leg. There was a gentleman at the Charlo press conference who was like, you don't have to be like a, a rocket scientist basically mm. to watch this fight. It's on Fox or whatever. Yeah. You feel like that's their only jab they can throw at uh, you but, guys? But of course, you know, one of their big selling points through Fox, not the other, not Showtime, is a, a good audience. You know, but we have to understand when we're talking about our subscription, Canelo could add a million subscribers in December, you know? So I'm not worried about the subscription numbers, and you can watch it on demand. You can go on tomorrow and watch the Regis Progress fight. You know what I mean? You haven't got to record it. It's just there. You can watch it in real time at any any moment on the zone. And, and it's just a case of getting people to use the product and understand the way that people in today's world are, I keep saying, digesting content. That's, that's, how, that's what I say. They're not, they're not watching it. My kids don't watch cable, What don't watch satellite, they watch YouTube, they watch Netflix, and they stream. They're nine and six, yeah. right? I've got to ask, last question tonight, I know it's an HBO show, mm. it's an HBO farewell, but obviously you're with the zone. Is it kind of, uh, you know, are you glad to have them out of the way? No, no. I mean, there's a lot of bitter people in boxing that were celebrating HBO leaving. I think it's terrible for the sport. HBO is synonymous with the sport. They're a brilliant brand, great production team. They've saved boxing over the years. So I want them to be involved in the sport. And, um, you know, 
day leaving. But it's very simple what's happened. And it, the same will happen to Showtime, in my opinion. The money's got out of control. They're not getting, they're not hitting the numbers to justify the dollars. And they don't want to fight. They don't want to dig deep. They don't want to overspend. They'll rather do it on something else. They haven't got a responsibility to air boxing. It's just something that suited them. And now it doesn't suit them anymore. Eddie, appreciate your time as always. Cheers. Thank you. Eddie. Uh